Oh. Let's see if I have any voicemails. Hmm. You have one voicemail waiting for you. Your challenge should you choose to accept it. I accept my challenge. Sit down. Okay. Welcome to Body Science Lab. Thank you. Our motto is memorization is crime. All right, so here is what I have. I have two triangles mm -hmm. and one rectangles. I wanted to find the area of the pink. Good luck. Okay, but I need some more information, like some side More lane. information? More information you have. This side is six. This side is five. Okay. If you want this side be five, let it be five. Okay. And I have to find the area of this pink? Area of this pink. Okay. I'm ready to take the challenge. Good luck. Thank you. So, to find the area of the pink, huh, what can I do? Well, I know that the area of the whole triangle is equal to the area of the orange plus the area of the pink plus the area of the purple and if I add all of these together I'm gonna get the area of the whole triangle so this is gonna be equal to the area of the whole triangle but I just want the area of this area of this what happened to your thumb? Don't worry about that. I smashed my finger between the car. That happens often. Oh my god. Well, to find the area of the pink, let me use this equation. So, let's say that this pink looks like this. So my whole triangle is this. And this pink will be this shaded rectangle. And you told me that this is 6 and that this is Five. You have time limit. You have 50 seconds left. Oh my god. Well, let's call this length X and let's call this length Y. Okay. So, what do I know? The area of this orange one is going to be half base, which is 6, times height, which is Y. Plus, area of the pink is going to be X times Y, which is XY plus area of the purple is going to be 5 times x. 30 seconds left. Or rather, half 5 times x. Okay, and the area of the whole triangle is going to be half, my base is 6 plus x, and my height is 5 plus y. Okay, and I know all I have to do is find the area of this pink. Okay, half of 6y is just 3y, plus xy plus half of 5x is just 2.5x okay and I know all of this is equal to whatever that is so I'm just gonna expand it is it okay if I expand it yeah okay oh my god I'm running out of time 20 seconds left come on okay come on come on come on come on okay half of 6 plus x so I have to foil this out right yeah so 6 times 5 is gonna give me 30 so let me go ahead and foil that out half half of 6 plus x times 5 plus y 6 times 5 is gonna be 30 6 times y is gonna be 6y 5 times x is gonna be 5x and x times y is gonna be xy but I have to divide everything by 2. So this 30 will become 15. This 6 will become 3. This 5 will become 2.5. Or rather just 5 over 2. And this xy will become xy over 2. I'm almost there. 20 seconds left. Oh my god. 3y, 3y. Cancel. 2.5x, 2.5x. Cancel. I'm left with xy minus xy over 2 that means half of xy is equal to 15 so if half of xy is 15 
10 seconds left. X, Y must be 30. Is it, is it 30? Congratulations. You can leave now. Thank you. I appreciate. I, I smashed my finger between the cars. Whoops.